But once we got uh, once we got that squared away at two o'clock this morning, uh, slept slept quite a bit better. The the waves last night from the north east wind died down, and it wasn't you know, it wasn't a horrible night's sleep. <coughs> um, that's where I slept last night back there. It was pretty comfy. Uh, t this morning we're having one heck of a breakfast. So we've got bacon and eggs and biscuits. Uh, that we were able to cook in the in the little oven. It's one of the first times I've used the oven, so that was pretty cool. We're our battery power is still holding in there. I, I really wonder if this thing works. Hopefully it does. It says we're you know almost 100% battery strength. Um, now I don't use the batteries a lot overnight. I had the anchor light on, which doesn't draw hardly anything. Um, and that was about it last night today so far we're just really using the solenoid uh for the propane system and just recently just a few minutes ago i hooked up my inverter my little portable inverter 300 watts and plugged in my tv and i'm using a direct or a uh, fire stick to connect to my phone, which I'm holding in my hand, and the Wi-Fi on my phone, and I'm able to stream live TV. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's a football game on this afternoon I'd love to see, but I'll probably be sailing at 1 o'clock, not sitting at anchor someplace. So anyway, we're, uh, we're going to get ready to have some breakfast, uh, coffee from the French press, and... Uh, get the day started and then we're going to head off for a sail. We have a nice south wind it feels like out there. I don't know exactly what the speed is, but it's enough to move flags and uh yeah, I think I'll be able to sail on that just fine. So, let's get the day started. So when I hooked up the uh, TV and the the inverter and the TV um I just hooked it directly to the battery uh, positive and negative terminals and I didn't see anything really happening here on my battery monitor and that's because uh, really I bypassed the shunt when I did that so um, I've now rewired it so that it's on the positive battery terminal but it's on the negative uh, negative lug on the shunt on the other side of the shunt so the current now passes through the shunt um, so hopefully that gives us a more accurate read of uh, what's happening and we can see it now we're drawing to 2.3 amps um, with the TV on 29 watts um, so that <clears throat> battery capacity is probably a little bit off just because I ran the TV for a little bit this morning without having it set up properly but hopefully nothing uh nothing too dramatic so i'm getting ready to turn everything off anyway uh so i gotta clean up my my breakfast mess here and then we're gonna get out for a sale well we're underway on tally ho this morning for our little adventure uh, overnight sleep out on the anchor last night <clears throat> Winds this morning though are <clears throat> very light, um, four, five knots, true. Um, so I'm gonna motor out a little ways. <clears throat> kind of wanted to make sure the motor would start. <coughs> Put a little juice back in the batteries while we're motoring. And uh, I'm hoping if we get away from shore maybe a little bit, maybe we'll pick up a little more of a breeze. We'll see. We're headed kind of northeast right now, Michigan City. But that Michigan City is right over there. You can see the big cooling tower from the electrical plant. <clears throat> There's a marina there on the other side. I don't know, we'll see if we catch any wind. That's gonna be the that'll be the secret today is if we catch any wind. I don't really want to motor all day. give this a whirl. We'll let the batteries charge up a little bit this morning. Motor a 
little bit, see if we pick up more than five knots of wind. Could fly a spinnaker today. That'd be an all right day if the uh, if it felt like the winds were going to stay sustained light. Wouldn't mind putting the spinnaker out for a day sit, you know, for an all day sail or half a day sail or whatever it would be. I think we will have to come back this way later tonight, <clears throat> just because uh, you know we're 17 miles from home now and. Whatever we add to that today, we want to be home, you know, around noon tomorrow. So uh, <clears throat> we gotta, <clears throat> and I don't plan to get up too dang early tomorrow. So we want to be sail today, but kind of end up uh, here or even closer to uh, my marina, so we can arrive Sunday morning. Um, so we'll have some more later. Well, lights, uh, winds continue to be very light, four or five knots. So we decided, what the heck, let's break the spinnaker out of the bag and let's see, uh, let's see if that helps us at all. It's been a while since I flew it. Last time I flew it, I cranked it up on my new spinnaker halyard so hard, I pulled the top up over the sheave up there and it got stuck, so I couldn't, I couldn't drop the sail. I could pull the pull the uh, sock down to kind of control it and capture it, but I couldn't pull the I couldn't actually pull the sail down from up there. So I left a little too much. I think I can crank that up just a little bit maybe, but with these really light winds, actually, she looks pretty good. So uh, we'll just sail like this for a while. There are some boats out there sailboats so that hopefully there's a little more wind up that direction but while it stays super light like this I might as well uh, take advantage of it and fly the spinnaker a little while I mean we are moving but we're not moving fast um, you know luckily we have nowhere to go today really other than as long as we got back here by the dunes so that we could head home tomorrow even if we had to motor tomorrow so i suppose we could do that we're down to about a quarter t well, a little more than a quarter tank of fuel say 20 gallon tank so five gallons maybe i burn about a half gallon an hour and let's say we are say or motoring let's say at six knots Uh, yeah, so we could three hours, we could motor home in three hours probably. So I think we've got plenty of fuel, but we also have a five gallon can uh, in the lazarette there just in case we need to put more in. We don't really want to drain the bottom of the tank uh, if we don't have to. So we'll see. Um, very light winds, almost, almost no wind very light cruising fly the spinnaker just for fun well it's been an extremely slow sail this afternoon winds are still in the six and seven maybe eight knot range very light very overcast today uh, see a few boats out i don't know if you can see the white sails out there or not sailboat out there. <clears throat> Tally Ho is just kind of easing along under a uh, spinnaker. Under a spinnaker and a mainsail. Uh, we really need to go that way. And we're going to tack here in a few minutes and start the engine up and motor sail. Because we'll be Almost not quite doing dead into the wind, but uh, we're not going to be able to sail, I don't think, in that direction. So we're just making some west westerly uh, miles, and then we'll turn, and we're going to motor up to the shore out there. It's about 10 miles back to the shore where we're going to anchor for the night. Winds are supposed to stay light tonight, and south mostly. Tomorrow, though, they turn north in the morning, hopefully not not before. 
So since I'm motoring a while, uh, I thought I would check the engine temperature. It could be hard to hear, so we'll just I won't talk. The engine checks fine. Nothing, uh, nothing going on there. Batteries will be good and full. Get done with it. I checked. We still had about a about a quarter of a tank of fuel. So I think when I get to the anchorage this afternoon, we'll put in that extra that extra five gallons. See how that takes us uh, brings us back to a half. We don't burn too much on this run. That's the first diesel I put in since this, since I launched the boat. It doesn't use a whole lot, and I don't use the engine much except for on a day like today where I can't go where I want to go. I keep an eye on the wind, though. If it gets a little bit more from the west, I could sail. It's still pretty light, but. <clears throat> I really dislike running the engine this long, or at all, except getting in and out of the slip. Got another boat out there, running me from the west somewhere. I think this will be good. It'll kind of line us up for a quick, easy uh, west sail home tomorrow if the wind clocks around to the north. Uh, hopefully it doesn't do it until after I'm up and about, um, I doubt that the wind, I, I don't think it's supposed to be a strong wind either. I mean, we might be motoring back from, uh, from the anchorage tomorrow, but that's why I'll throw the extra fuel in just so we have it in case we need it tomorrow. So we've, sunk, we've kind of screwed around a lot today, but right over there is where we were anchored last night. And there's this LTV steel mill. gonna go at pretty much the farthest south tip of Lake Michigan and we're gonna anchor off another beach there tonight and we'll be between LTV steel on this side and inland steel over there uh, but at least it's a beach we'll have more later well it's uh, halftime at the Notre Dame game Notre Dame's up 14 to 21 and uh, I'm still motoring here I'm about four and a half miles out from where I hope to anchor we've been uh, screwing around on the water for 20 miles today unfortunately an awful lot of it was uh, motoring well, we made it to the anchorage. Uh, it's about almost five o'clock. 
I uh, running the TV off the inverter again just to see the end of the Notre Dame game. We got dinner started tonight. Uh, some corn. <clears throat> got a steak on the barbecue. See, barbecue seems to be working better tonight. Already turned that. And a glass of wine. Um, so we're in about seven and a half feet of water. I was uh, getting closer to the beach motoring in and all of a sudden I felt the keel hit the sand. Wasn't going very fast and immediately turned out to deeper water and was able to just motor right over it, through it, or whatever. But uh, that was a weird feeling. Never, uh, never grounded the boat before. Guess I got a little crazy trying to get close to shore. <clears throat> All right, all right. Well, with uh, dinner cooked, steak and some corn, some cottage cheese, a little wine. It's a, it's a nice dinner. The grill worked great tonight for some reason. Way better than yesterday. We made a nice, uh, nice dinner. All right. After dinner chores, uh, we're gonna we put away the propane tank, the extra one for the grill. It goes in this locker right here. <clears throat> Whoops. <clears throat> Just sits in there. And uh, while I was in there, I grabbed my magic siphon hose. It's magic because you just swirl it around and it starts the siphon without you putting your lips on it. I just checked the fuel and we're under a quarter of a tank with that two hour motor today so I'm going to go ahead and put in this five gallons, four gallons, whatever I got in the tank there. <clears throat> Keep going until she starts flowing and that's it. So we're just going to let that... Uh, Drain into the fuel tank. At least get the majority of it out. And I'll feel a little bit better about motoring tomorrow when I have more like a half a tank. So we'll see. We'll see how much uh, is in the tank. Probably won't be a half. I think I only put about four gallons into this tank when I filled. Got some fuel the other day. The yellow can holds five gallons and it wasn't really full so uh, maybe four gallons or so we'll be able to check on the fuel gauge once we put this in and see how it goes oh there you go we uh, pretty much sucked the can dry let's see what we have in the fuel tank now <clears throat> unfortunately my fuel gauge is down in this lazarette still keep meaning to fix that but I haven't yet. So we turn it on. Just shy of a half a tank. Pretty darn close actually. Alright so the uh, last of the little bit of fuel that was in there I poured out through the spout. That's a two-hand job for sure with these newfangled spouts. This one's pretty old actually and takes two hands to operate it. Don't forget to uh, put your fuel cap back in and we're good to go on fuel for now. Uh, another chore for this evening is to redo the bed. So last night I slept on top of a sleeping bag or at least I started to. And I had a little fleece sleeping bag thrown over the top of me. Um, but of course, this is what normally happens. My feet were sticking out. It got cold. Um, I ended up <clears throat> getting inside the sleeping bag, the heavy bag, last night. Uh, and that was okay. But I find it so restrictive. 
All right, well, that ought to be a whole lot more comfy tonight. Use the full, uh, full width of the bed. Sleep on something a little more comfy. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. I, uh, it is hot back here, though. I, I hit the, hit the engine with the infrared thermometer. It's about 157 degrees. So we're going to let some heat out and see if we can cool it off a bit before bedtime. Should be able to. It's early. It's only just, just about six o'clock. Um, I might change my mind about a swim though, because it was pretty hot working in there next to that engine. <clears throat> we'll see.